Well, I, I think it means a couple of things. First of all, um, we're going to work real hard on organization and we're going to concentrate on communication. Um, because what we've got to do is we've got to take the energy that we were able to, to bring together tonight and we've got to do um, uh, serious, serious recruiting of viable candidates. Um, Winchester is a blue city and there's no reason that we shouldn't have a, a democratic council. And so that's going to be one of our primary focuses now is, uh, is the upcoming council races. And, um, and so we're, we're going to field some good candidates. That's, that's number one. But beyond that, um, we're going to put pressure everywhere we can, particularly on the Frederick County Board of Supervisors, because I think that there are some real soft targets there, given what we saw with um, the education issue um, and um, some other issues that, uh, that the board has just been on the wrong side of. And I think that uh, we've got the population of people now close in to the, to the city who are young, um, leaning uh, to progressive values, and so we're going to try to capitalize on that and recruit good, solid candidates for those positions. Um, I think that if we can be a successful committee and elect viable candidates, that that, that begins to build that foundation that can support state politics and that's going to lead to supporting national candidates so the 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 energy that we can create locally um, and if that energy can be multiplied by other localities and i think it will be then um, that's the groundswell that we need what happened i think with the trump election is that we were asleep obama was such a great president that we all became complacent. And I think that we really underestimated the, um, the, the propensity for uh, human um, negativity. Uh, you've seen the, the KKK soliciting in our area now. Um, you know, we've seen rampant racism um, and, and all of those very ugly emotions that had been suppressed for so long sort of amalgamated around the election of Trump. Well, we're not sleeping anymore. We're not complacent anymore. Now we're going to, to build this groundswell of support and we're going to turn that into local elections and that in turn is going to turn into state elections and that in turn is going to turn into national elections. We came within a hair's breadth of, of taking the, the speaker's slot in the House of Delegates, and we may still do that. And that will be a sea change, because in Virginia, the most powerful man is the Speaker of the House, because he's the one that controls the introduction of all of the legislation. And so if you want to see Medicaid expanded, you've got to have somebody who's willing to put that piece of, med of, of legislation forward and promote it. And so, um, if we can do that, if we can begin to elect people like Wendy Goditis and, and send them to Richmond, then that really begins with a local organization and a local groundswell of support. And that's what we're going to build.